Kal Halayum La Yahawo Bahasham Shal Yahawo Shai Baha Raka Kodash, which is ancient paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. In the name of his son Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Yeshua. Those are the only those are the only Hebrew names in which which by Israel can be saved, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Amerindians, and the confusion of faith that they like the heathens, but fathers go back to the to an Israelite man. And, you know, they may look like a so-called Chinese, a so-called Caucasian, so-called Arab, but their father, their bloodline goes back to an Israelite man, right? In the Holy Spirit, and they believe in the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom and understanding of these Holy Scriptures, the true wisdom and understanding of these Holy Scriptures, right? We want to go into a quick lesson, all right, um, pertaining to the wonderful works of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. And this lesson was uh, inspired by the Holy Spirit, through Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, leading me to this this um, na National Geographic documentary series called One Strange Rock, hosted by Will Smith. So I'm just going to play this clip and, um, you know, go into scriptures from there, you know. I'm going to tell you about the most incredible place. And you know what? You're walking on it. Our planet is literally bursting with light. There's so much activity, and our planet is right in the middle of it. I really wish that everyone could see the world the way that I've had a chance to see it. The strangest place in the whole universe might just be right here. Geographic. Yeah, so that documentary goes into how things of the earth, the ordinances of the earth, all right, in which Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai created. And this is going to be a bit lengthy, all right, because you know, just want to give Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai the praise and glory, all right. And you know, this is this this is just in the documentary, just a few things that that. You know, Esau is trying to figure out, and you know, you know, Jake's among there and so forth, trying to figure out. But um, you know, it was prophesied that 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 we would that we would that man would be doing this, all right? That it is in in our nature, in our spirit, to seek out the works of Yahweh on this earth. So let's get into the scriptures, all right? This is Psalm chapter forty, verse five. Many, O Yahweh, my power, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. And thy thoughts, which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. All right. So how we have Bashim Yoshtai thought about us. All right. Um, it cannot be like recognized. Right. It cannot be put in 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 an order. All right. Because you have like the scripture says in Isaiah fifty five and verse eight. Your thoughts are not my thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. Thus saith Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right. He says, "If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. So the works and the thoughts Yahweh Hashem Yahushai have towards us are more than to be numbered. Meaning that how Yahweh Hashem Yahushai created this world in its beautiful, um, um, synchronizing way." Um, calibrating way because it says in the, in the documentary there that it was perfectly calibrated all right and it's just a few of the works that they think they, they um they um 
they, they, they brought to light, all right, to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Of course, because the scripture says that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai um, sealeth a man, sealeth a man instructions when deep sea fall upon him, according to Job 33 and 15. All right, so they were mentioning in the video that that southern northern africa desert when a dust storm occurs that dust from that from that part of southern africa passes over the um the pacific ocean into the amazon basin which is a perfect fertilizer which is a perfect fertilizer which is a perfect fertilizer to bring forth um nutrients within the amazon and then and then um you know and so forth so for another cycle continues which leads to um oh, what's the word looking for talks about how the trees in the amazon absorbs the the, the water in the in the in the sun and it rises up as dew into the sky and then there's a river in the sky that then hits this mountain range and then it rains there and then the water flows flows all of the debris and the silica which feeds these microscopic organisms organisms called di diatom right diatom all right that's how i would say right and uh, which which they say provides oxygen for us which photosynthesizes and pro provides oxygen for us but you know i'm just you know mouthing what they're saying all right roughly paraphrasing but that just goes to show how the ordinances and the, the way how bashim you know, set things up is that is that you know he's in control and you know the scripture is going to show that all right this is not by accident all right and they and that's what upset me about this 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 um this video they're trying to desensitize the fact that that this that there was a creator and they try not to insult anyone's intelligence by not saying of of whom that the god of the bible the power of the bible the creator of the bible the writer of the bible yahweh in the name of the son yahweh shai all right did these things with his with his angels as well all right he gave the decree he gave them the power wisdom and understanding to create these things all right so let's get job chapter 9 verse 5 to 10 it says Slack you which removeth the mountains they know not which turneth which turneth them in his anger. So when when these glaciers fall into the into the um into the ocean to the sea, they also feed the diatoms, right? And whereby certain mountain ranges collapse and so forth and cause all these things. You know, we don't know, we don't know how these things happen. What is Yahweh Bashim Yoshai plan to do these things, right? For for ultimate purpose. It says which she get the earth out of her place and the pillars thereof trembled on the earthquakes and whatnot, which commanded the sun and it riseth not and sealeth up the stars. So if you have Bashim Yoshai one, he command the sun not to rise and seal up the stars. Which one spreadeth out the heavens, which slaky, which alone spreadeth out the heavens and treadeth upon the waves of the sea, which maketh all right, he spread out the, the heavens. It's talking about the, the the firmament all right and the um the um the firmament and the, the the stars and so forth all right because when when um when it's when the when it's a clear sky at night you would see the stars resonate on the on the sea water or on the on the um on a lake or so all right spread of the heavens I'm talking about also the rain Verse 9, it says, Which maketh Arcturus, Orion, and Pallades, and the chambers of the south. All right? These are talking about constellations, which the tribe of Zebulon would use to travel travel the seas and so forth back in ancient times. Which doeth great, still in these times, all right? Because that's within our tribe's spirit. That's within our people's spirit. It says, um, Which doeth great things, past findeth out, yea, and the wonders without number. All right? Yeah, there's certain things that we cannot find out according to Deuteronomy 29, 29 says um the things that thou hast revealed are to 
are to us for and our children forever and the secret things belong to Yahweh, which, which I'm probably paraphrasing all right so there's things that passed that are past finding out and Yahweh when we when we receive those spiritual bodies those celestial bodies we we may we may understand a little more than we do now all right it says ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 to 7 said he hath made everything beautiful in his time in his time Yahweh has created these things also he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that the most i make it from the beginning to the end so the most i set the world in our heart which is the word love which means mind which you know which we always bring up so so people could understand what it means by heart so that no man can find out the work that the most i make it from the beginning so it is set in our heart to find out these things all right but we cannot find out all oh, because yahweh has set that bound that barrier all right that hedge um, it says, I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life because man has fallen away. And, and um, since we, we, we learned the doctrine of devils, all right, um, gain knowledge of both good, good and evil, all right, um, there is no good in us, all right, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. Why? Because the most like, incorruptible spirit is in us. That's why the scripture says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing to do good, and that's 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 always that's always going to be there. But some more than others, because it says in, in Sirach thirty three that um, good is set against evil. The Most High created the evil for the day for the day of destruction, right? For his for his name may be glorified and his power may be known. Right? It's all for his pleasure. We cannot change it. I was going to say that right here. It says and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of Yahweh. So the most high blessing us with these nutrients, with these things. With, with, like if you just think about like smelling food and tasting food and, and certain feelings and certain things that 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 we that, that we have um been exposed to. It's it's so beautiful. The scripture says that um the angels are curious. Let me get it real quick. Um in which the angels inquire thereof, something like that says. I believe it's Colossians it's in as well. Let me see. It's locked, yeah. Yeah, which angels inquire? It's not Galatians. It's not Ephesians. Philippians. Colossians. It's not Thessalonians. First Timothy, my second Timothy, somebody here. Yeah, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 12. It says, Unto whom it was revealed that, that, not, that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them, by them that have preached the gospel unto, unto you with the Holy Spirit set down from heaven, sent down from heaven, which things the angel desire and look into so the angels desire to you know experience what we we, we experience and, and look into because not all the angels are in these bodies because we're angels in bodies all right but that's another lesson it says 
this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 14. He said, I know that I know that whatsoever the most I do it, it shall be forever, and nothing can be put to it, nor anything, nor anything taken from it, and the most I do it that men should fear before him. Alright? So whatsoever you have about has done, nothing can be um, taken from it or added to it because he some might think that he could change um, you know, the molecular structure of fruits by changing the carrots from from purple to orange and the bananas from purple and red to orange, to yellow and whatnot, right? But the blueprint of that that item that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha has created will always be. All right, I, I saw this thing. Um, I believe it's from Jason A. This YouTube channel called Jason A. Whereby they're trying, they're really trying to make new creatures and whatnot. All right, but that's a whole other lesson. But yeah, verse fifteen. It says that which that which has been is now and that which is to be hath already been all right that which has been is now all right we've been through all this already and that, that which is to be hath already been it's already happened already and the most i require it that which is it that which is past meaning the most i want to go back to the times or the most i will um renew the earth back to the times of eden whereby everything will be healed and blessed all right it says and moreover i saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there meaning this is just one of the examples i'm giving of, of the wickedness that was there right um esau is trying to trying to say that these things happen by chance that that is blasphemy that's wickedness that we should be giving how bashing and shai praises for the things that he created for us, right? It says, I said in my heart, I said in my heart, the most side shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time, for there is a, for there is a time, therefore, for every purpose and every work. For there is a time and therefore every purpose and every work. So there, there is a purpose and a work for everything and a time for everything. Like that's why there's seasons. That's why there's, there's, there's um, months and, a specific time all right all right so let's get um colossians chapter one leaves from 13. yeah colossians chapter one verse 15. It says who is the invisible image who is the image of the invisible power of the firstborn of every creature that's how much you have shy all right it says, for by him we were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. So, the Haobashim Yahushai issued the order to Yahawashai and, and the angels to create these things, all right? And gave them the power to do so, the wisdom and understanding to do so, right? And they were all, and they are all created for him and by him. It says, he, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. But when it says consist, all things continue. All right? It's lucky. Yeah. yeah, so let's move on to the next scripture. This is, um, but you know, man has corrupted themselves and, and believe us a, a, a bunch of folly. And this precept is to prove so, right? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13, verse 1 to 6. So surely vain are all men by nature who who are judgment of the Most High could not and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. All right? We're, men, we are vain by nature. All right? But you know the elect is not going to be ignorant because you have Bashim Shah is going to give them the wisdom and understanding. It says neither by considering the works, the works did they acknowledge the work master. It says neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Yeah, Will Smith and those rest people don't they want to acknowledge it. They they want to leave it um what's the word as an open on open discussion. But you gotta discuss the creator if you're gonna go through things and saying saying how these things happen. 
you know, miraculous. They're using words like miraculous or art or the m m miraculous um, chances that these things, these things are 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 happening, right? But Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is the one who did these wonderful works in order for us to consist, and that's to show that that we we are nothing without Him, right? It says verse three. It says with those with whose beauty, if they being delighted took them to be God. So they, they see the beauty of these things and they slack you. I gotta read verse two. It says, but deem but deemed either fire or wind or the swift air or the circle of stars or or the violent water or the lights of heaven to be to be gods which govern the world. Alright? So they so they look they, they see the fire, wind, swift air, circle stars, water and so forth to be to be the gods all right they worship these things instead of all right on the sign and the person that made it is far beyond that i was going to say that right here it says with with whose beauty if they being the if they being delighted took took to them took to them to be gods so you're amazed at these works all right i mean it's, it's beautiful that he thinks the most i look at the look at this look at this even this computer all right ones and zeros you know but anyway it says let them know how much better the lord of them is for the for the for the first author of beauty had created them the first author of beauty the one who's like yo let me make things beautiful he 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 signed and sealed he gave the go ahead to make all these things to make you all right but if they were astonished at their at their power and virtue let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them oh my you understand there must be a creator that has to be mighty to, to put these things in such a precision a precise way for example they were saying that the earth is for for consecutively decades and centuries the earth oxygen the, the earth is made up of 20.95 percent of oxygen and it doesn't rise it doesn't doesn't drop if it drops you know we would choke trying to get air like for example with somebody in peru people living there trying to mine gold or their lungs are damaged because there was there's due to lack of oxygen but they're still there trying to mine gold all right or people right um and then there's if there's too much oxygen the earth will burn up all right the earth will burn up so um, you know, we gotta give Yahweh Hashem Shah praise for these things that that his his mercy that there's a thin line, a thin line. You know, <laughs> this shows that the Mosai don't play. Mosai don't play. It says verse five, for by greatness and beauty of the creatures proportionably the maker of them is seen. All right, it says for by the greatness and beauty of the creatures proportionably the maker of them is seen so <laughs> let me break this down for you right the greatness and the beauty are our minor proportions of the of the most high all right that's why when you how i said when that's why when your disciples asked she was the father he said from you look at from you look at roughly paraphrase right you look at me you see the father because yahweh shai is that depiction because yahweh's glory is so great that it cannot be it cannot be comprehended that's why yahweh shai is the only one that 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 can be in the holy of the of the holiest of the holies you understand at the highest level that's we that's why he's the firstborn all right and he he's the one that could lawyer for us and be the mediator and so forth it says so in exodus when when yahweh was talking on the mount to the children of israel they were fear and dread because the most high ain't gonna turn down his fucking slack if i'm a french the most high ain't gonna turn down his his power and his glory for nobody all right because he's the measure of all things we are not all right he's gonna show us mercy because he knows that we are so insignificant in comparison to him that that you know he um he created these things and he shows mercy for us to exist and consist and he and he loved he loved his creation that's why he created in the first place all right it says verse verse six but yet for this 
for this they are they are slacking but yet for this they are the less to be blamed for they for they poor adventure error which means sin seeking the most high and desirous to find him the error seeking to find the most high but they put they put they they feel that the tangible things the carnal things are are the most high or uh, is the most high right that's why scripture says the most high is a spirit and must be worshipped in spirit and truth right meaning wisdom and understanding you understand that this is just a pre course this is just the works of the of the maker all right um yeah this is uh Sirach chapter 18 verse 1 to 6 it says he that liveth forever hath created all things in general all right all things he created in general yahweh only is righteous and there is none other but he all right there's no other power but yahweh Hashem Yoshai, all right who governeth the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will so he he, he gave everything the push start and, he, and by the palm of his hands meaning the angels mean mean his his spirit his 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 force his ether ethereal whatever you, whatever they call these days right his power his force these things continue all right and they they are not giving him glory in that documentary one strange rock right they're not giving him the glory all right it says for he is the king of all and by his power dividing holy things among them from profane because scripture says it's rock 33 he made everything he made everything one is set against another evil against good the profane is evil and the holy things is uh is good right um it's verse 4 to whom hath he given power to declare his words yahweh shai that's who he gave power to declare his words and who shall find out his noble acts yahweh shai he's the only one right because he was there it says so in psalms 8 and verse psalms 8 yeah it's not psalms proverbs chapter 8 right he was daily he was daily yahweh's delight yahweh shai was daily yahweh's delight he was there all right it says who shall number the strength of his majesty and who shall also tell out his mercies all right Ooh, like as for the wondrous works of Yahweh, they there may be nothing taken from them neither may anything be put to them neither can the ground of them be found out what's the ground the foundation like they're trying to figure out what's dark matter he says oh, the world is made up of dark matter then they found that you know there's part of the universe where there's no dark matter you ain't gonna figure out that shit you ain't gonna figure it out so give up all right at least nine nine this time all right let me see here uh all right we, let's go let's read job chapter 38 the entire chapter right and the lord willing we go to uh, chapter 39 it says then yahweh answered job out of the whirlwind and said that's the chariot all right that's his glory this power right a consuming fire who is it that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? All right. It's like who's trying to, who's trying to cover the most, the most size, um, wise counsel without knowledge, without true understanding, without, without knowing what what things is about this. And he says, "Gird up now thy loins like man, for I will demand of thee. Answer thou me." It's like where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understand it. Who hath laid the measures thereof? Who set the earth to be ex this exact proportion? This earth, these land masses, and so forth, to be of these proportions? Who didn't decide to put it in straight lines and whatnot? Put put it in his artistic, in his beautiful way of designing. All right, if thou knowest, all right, or who hath stretched out the line line upon it? All right whereupon whereupon are the foundations they were fast like <laughs> how is it fasting how is it not moving right or who or who laid the cornerstone thereof right the stone that that set it to be in in that fashion and that could be talking about the house but i mean i'm not sure so i'm not going to go into that too much 
It says, when the morning stars sang together, that's talking about the angels, right? And all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy. Why? Because they are looking at the wondrous work that Jehovah Hashem Hashem created. That's why the scripture says that the, scripture, that the angels desire to look into it, right? Like they create, like some of the angels created it, but they like they they never experience being hungry or because they never weary, they never toil, they never they just do the will of Yahweh Shai. But while in these bodies, we we are susceptible to certain experiences, right? So that's why the angels uh, desire or desire desire to see what it's like, right? It says um verse eight. Or who shut up the seas with doors? Who shut up the sea with doors? As in the sea within a certain bound. When it break forth, as if it had it had issued out of the womb. Right? When the seas rush in rush into the shores and whatnot. Right? Tsunamis and whatnot. It says, when I made the cloud, when I made the cloud the garment thereof. You see, the cloud is like a garment and thick darkness, a swaddling a swa a swaddling band for it. And break up for it my decreed place, set bars and doors. All right, it says, and said, Hither, hitherto shalt thou come, but no further. Who set the sea to, to come at this particular seashore to, to come no further? Yahweh Shem Yoshai. It keeps raining and raining, but yet the sea is not, is not overflowing, the earth is not, but it. Other than when Yahweh Bashi Moshe opened the windows of heaven, all right, and caused the earth to flood that, that one time he destroyed the earth, all right? He did that, all right? He did that. And there's science, scientific proof whereby the word science is from the Latin word science, which means to know. It says, And here shall thou proud, and here, and here shall, shall thy proud waves be stayed, all right? Says, Hast thou command the morning since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? Could you <laughs> that it might take hold of the ends of the earth? All right, the day spring take hold of the ends of the earth. That's that's where that's where the day springs from the end of the earth, right? That the wicked might be shaken out of it, it is turned as clay to the seal that they stand as a garment. From the wick from the wicked, their light is withholding, and the high arm shall be broken. Hast thou entered into springs into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? Yeah, because Esau has never discovered or cannot discover the depths of the sea because the the, the mass thereof is is too heavy, you know. And all sorts of creatures are down there. The Leviathan, for example, says. Have the gates of, of have the gates of death been opened unto thee? Or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Yeah, Esau is trying to you know bring people back to life. Alright? He's he's challenging the most high. Alright, but he's gonna lo lose um terribly. It's like hast thou perceived the breath of the earth? Be clear if thou knowest. The breath of the breath of the earth talking about the width. Esau said he could measure the earth. You can't measure shit, all right? Where is the way where light dwelleth? Like where? <laughs> Think about light. It's like, what is it dwelling in? Is it dwelling in air? Is it dwelling in, in the in the uh, in an item, for example, this phone? And you know, scientists were saying that um, things don't have color until light shines in it and the way that light shines in this particular texture or this 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 uh yeah let's say texture this particular texture that's the way you color perceive but I don't I don't I don't I don't know fool, right but that's just you know their speculation right um where am I it's like where is the way where light dwelleth and as for darkness where is the place thereof that thou shouldest take it in Take it to the bound thereof. Right? Yeah, you can't capture light. You can't capture darkness. Alright? And that thou shouldest go. Ooh, lock you. If you seal up a box, yeah, you know in there is gonna be dark. But if you open it 
<laughs> you would need light to see if it's in there, right? But that's just a deep way. That's just getting deep, right? To show that how we how Hashem and Shai design these things, we can't figure it out. And that's why how Hashem and Shai was talking to telling Job, right? It says, let me read back verse one. It says that thou shouldest take it to the bound thereof, and that thou shouldest know the parts of the house thereof. All right, knowest thou it, because thou was 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 then born, or because the number of thy days is great? Has thou, yeah, because they always talking about billions of years ago, this happened and that happened. Like, how the hell you know that? All right, they're not accurate with it. Scripture says that there's no remember of former things, even though they they were reincarnated, but they don't know. It says. Has thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Ooh, because each snowflake is different. Or, or, or in, in the depths, in depths of Antarctica, there's gold and, and diamonds there. All right? Or Alaska, it says, Or has thou seen the treasures of, of the hail? All right? Which I have reserved against the time of trouble. Against the day of battle and war, the most I oh my, think about that snow, the treasures of snow. How the most I caused snow to seize up Hitler's um, platoons and tanks so that they won't run. All right, and hail pertaining to like for example Exodus, how the most I made hail with fire fall. So in verse twenty three on that note says which i have reserved against the, the time of trouble against the day of battle and of and war by what way is the light by what way is the light parted all right what causes light to part like for example if you look at a sunburst how the clouds you know how the clouds situated certainly how how the light would would spring like a like a, um, a bicycle wheel spokes you know spokes you call it with scattered the east wind upon the earth all right it says who had divided the water course for the overflowing of waters or or a way of lightning and of thunder How, who can determine why lightning you know goes that way it says to cause it to rain on the earth where no man is on the wilderness where wherein there is no man amazon or in, or in the desert it says um to satisfy the desolate waste ground and to cause the bud of tender herb to spring forth had the rain had the rain and father had the rain of father Sorry, not you. or who has begotten the drops of the jew All right because if you see in that same documentary you saw that the jew was rising from the plants going up to the heavens right to what they call um a river in the sky it said out of whose womb came came the ice or the hoary frost of heaven we're talking about in space you know space is cold and silent oh, what gendered it Ooh, wow the waters I should check that word slap yak yeah we gotta check these words should be should be heavy. Yeah, to bear, bring forth, beget, gender, travail. It's like, yo. To bear, bring forth, of child, distress. Okay, okay. So who has gendered these things, right? <clears throat> who has bring forth these things? Who has beget these things? The waters are hid as with a stone and the face of the deep is frozen 
Canst thou bind the sweet influences of the Pallades? Or loose the bands of Orion? Can <laughs> Orion's belt. Canst thou bring forth Mazaroth in this in his season? Or canst thou guide the Articus with his sons? Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds, that the abundance of waters may cover thee? Canst thou send lightnings, that they may go and say unto thee, Here we are? Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts? Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1, Thine incorruptible spirit is in all things, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Or who hath given understanding to the heart, to the mind? All right? Who give us on the sign to know that two plus two is four? All right, or who can number the clouds in wisdom? Or who can stay the bottles of heaven when the dust groweth into hardness? Can and wow, when the dust groweth into hardness, and you know, a brother of mine. The leader of our camp said that sand is grow. Wow. That's interesting. I'll look into that more. And it says, um, and the clods cleave faster together. Will thou hunt the prey for the lion? Or fill the appetite of young lions when they couch in their dens and abide in the covert to lie in wait? Who provideth for the raven his food when his young ones cry unto the Most High? They wandereth for lack of meat. Exactly. Who does these things? Yahweh Hashem Right. Uh, chapter thirty-nine. Slack yeah. All right. Let me just read a bit. Chapter thirty-nine, and then we we'll close off. Right. This is Job chapter thirty-nine, verse one. Knowest thou the time when? The wild goats of the rock bring it forth, or can thou mark when the hinds do calve? Exactly. We don't know these things. We don't know these things. So can thou number the months that they that they fill? Or knowest thou the time when they bring forth? They bow themselves, they bring forth their young ones, they cast out their sorrows, their young ones are, are in good liking. They grow up with corn, they go forth and they return unto them. Alright? And that's about it, alright? And um, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakadash, double honors to the apostles, and I was a great millstone and salutation to the sincere Akim who's pushing the truth of the Holy Scriptures and fear and sincerity truth. You know, Shalom to the elect, Shalom to the hundred and four thousand men, the one third men and the children. That you to be saved. I pray that this was that you find. I want to say to Wadi Hawabashim Yahushai for putting the spirit on me to do another lesson. Shalom, Rakatham, Akim.